the diagram shows the forces acting on a uniform rod. Okay, so we have four forces, 20, 6, 10, and 4. And then we're trying to see what statement is correct. The first statement is the rod is in equilibrium. So there are two conditions for equilibrium. One of them is that there must be no resultant force on the object. And in this case, if we look at the four forces acting on the object, we have 20 newtons acting upwards and 20, if you add them all up, newtons acting downwards. So that condition is satisfied. Upward forces equal downward forces. So there is no resultant force on our object. But that's not the only condition for equilibrium. The other condition is that there must be no resultant moment about any point. So we need to work our moment in order to figure out if the rod is in equilibrium. We know that D is not going to be correct because we don't want to increase any forces. If we increase the 10 newton force to 20 newtons, well then these will no longer add up to make 20. So it's not going to be D. So we have to work out now a moment. We have to work out if we need an extra anti-clockwise moment or an extra clockwise moment. Let's pick a point. I think the easiest one to use would be this point here. If we use that point, we eliminate the moments of the 20 newton force and the 10 newton force. Remember that moment is equal to force times perpendicular distance. Well, because both of these forces, the 20 and the 10, they act through our pivot point, there is no distance from those forces. There is no perpendicular distance from those forces to our pivot point, and therefore there wouldn't be a moment. If that doesn't make sense, let's say this is a random force. Let's say this is a random 20 newton force. If our pivot point is, let's say, here, then the perpendicular distance would be this distance here. So it'd be that force multiplied by this distance. There is no perpendicular distance from these forces to the pivot because the line of action of the force, which is what I drew as this dashed line here, and now I'm drawing it here, the line of action of the force goes through the pivot, and so therefore there is no perpendicular distance to that pivot point. Okay, so we want to work out moments. We're doing it about the orange point. The 20 newton and the 10 newton force don't have moments about that point. The moment due to the 6 newton force will just be 6 times 0 0.3, which is 1.8. So that would be a anti-clockwise moment. Anti-clockwise because we start from the point at which the force acts, we go around the pivot, and that is the anti-clockwise direction. That would be 1.8 newton meters. And for the 4 newton force, so that would be 4 multiplied by 0 0.2, which is 0 0.8 newton meters, that goes this way around the pivot. So that would be a clockwise moment. So overall, if we find the difference between the two things, so we do 1.8 minus 0 0.8, that gives us 1. So there, at the moment, there is a, a resultant anti-clockwise moment of one newton meter. So to bring the system into equilibrium, we need a clockwise moment of one newton meter. So the answer will therefore be C.